Hi everyone, myself Navya Taravi, working as assistant professor in the Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic B plus trees and in that B plus trees, I used to discuss about the deletion operation. So, in this, uh, the overview of my presentation includes deletion operation in B plus trees and the advantages and disadvantages of B plus trees. So, let us consider let us consider one tree which we have discussed in our previous session, which we have discussed in our previous session that we have already constructed one B plus tree by using some elements. Okay. So, let us discuss those by, by considering the above example, we have to delete these elements. Let us first draw the B plus tree here. Okay. So, here 7, 17 and which I have taken the order M, which is 4. That means 3 keys per node. Okay. Whatever the order, how many number of minimum keys, maximum children, whatever we used to maintain that we have already discussed in our previous session. Okay. So, now let us consider the tree and the right hand part of the tree is 25, 31. One, four, seven, ten, seventeen, nineteen, and to the left of twenty five, twenty five, thirty one. Let us draw twenty five, thirty one. This is what to the left of twenty five here, to the left of twenty five, twenty five. 20, 21 to the right of 25, 25, 28 and to the right of 31, 31, 42. This is the tree that we have already constructed in our previous session. Now, I should delete 21. Now, I should delete 21. Okay. So, what is the uh, concept that I have already told from the root node? We need to check the element. Okay. So, whether 21 is uh, less than 20? No, it is greater than 20. So, I should go for to the right part. Okay. Now, we should check whether 21. So, whether 21 is uh, less than 25? Yes. So, we should go for to the left pointer. Okay. Now, we can able to delete the data directly as this is the, as this is the leaf nodes, actual data will be represented here itself. So, 21 will be deleted from the leaf node directly. And here we used to maintain minimum number of keys. Okay. So, for example, m is equal to 4. Okay. m is equal to 4. So, how many number of keys that we should maintain minimum number of keys? Seal of m by 2 minus 1. Okay. That means here, how many minimum number of keys? 1 compulsory, it is mandatory to maintain one key per node. That is the thing we should remember here. So, if at all I used to delete 21, then minimum number of keys, 20 is there, 1 is there, right? One key is there. So, no problem. And we should check one more thing. If at all this 21 is in index node also, we need to delete that from index node and we have to replace from some any other node. Okay. So, that is what my point. Here we have deleted 21. Next, let us delete 31. Okay, let us check whether 31 is greater than 20. Yes, 31 is greater than 20. That is why I here I used to choose the right point. See, and here 31 is, now let us check, 31 is greater than 25. Yes, it is greater than 25. Again, I used to check here, but see here the element, whatever the index is there in the index value, the 31. So, from this, I can able to go and I can able to check whether 31 is there in the data page. Yes, it is there. So, I can delete it directly 
and here i used to check whether the minimum keys has been maintained yes and one one more thing that i told you if at all 31 is in the index value then i used to check whether 31 is index value yes it is there so i have to delete this index and i used to replace and i used to replace the right child of 31 with in place of 31 i used to replace the right child so what is the right child of 31 42 so as 31 must be deleted this 42 must be replaced with in place of 31 and the right child of 42 will be 42 this is what to maintain the balance as b plus t is a balanced tree so we should maintain the balance in this way we have to delete 31 okay our next element is to delete 20 our next element is to delete 20 so what is the thing here where is 20 in the leaf nodes okay in the leaf node so if at all i used to delete 20 it will become an empty node it will become empty node so but the condition is we have to maintain minimum number of keys one so we must not delete 20 like that we should borrow from its sibling we should borrow from its sibling how one more thing that i used to represent here every node in the leaf nodes every node is connected with one another like a single linker list okay so here from each and every node which are connected with each other so that we can able to retrieve the data okay so to maintain the minimum number of keys this node borrows the key from can borrow from its left child or right sibling okay so here let us take let us borrow from right sibling why because here i have deleted 20 then it will become empty then i used to borrow 25 so to borrow 25 that to from the parent node here okay to borrow 25 now if at all i used to borrow 25 then i used to remove 25 here and i used to remove 25 here also now here i used to replace with 28 so to the left of 28 now it becomes 25 to the right of 28 it has 28 and we have satisfied the minimum number of keys also okay we may not violate the b plus t property this is what in this way i used to delete 20 and we must check whether this 20 is in index value yes it is there here itself okay so where should what should i replace this one okay we have to remove this one then what should i replace so i should replace with the right subtree root node as this is the root node we have to replace it with the, the right subtree minimum value right subtree minimum value that too from the leaf nodes what is the right subtree here this is what the right subtree what is the minimum value here 25 so 25 must be represented as the root node why because here 20 has been deleted okay so this is what next element is 10 so what is 10 here where it is 10 the 10 is available here and i can directly delete 10 so that here the minimum key one value is there so that i can directly delete 10 okay now the value is 7 now the value is 7 so where should i delete 7 so if at all i used to delete 7 this node will become empty so we must maintain minimum keys at least one key what should i do i can borrow from left sibling or right sibling okay here i use right sibling now let us borrow from left sibling so here what is the left sibling here 4 okay let us borrow 4 okay so let us borrow 4 now we can delete 7 and here also why because i have borrowed now so here also i can make this 4 as my root node okay index value so to the left of 4 1 to the right of 4 4 and here to the right of 17 remaining tree as it is so in this way i can delete 7 whether we have to check whether 4 is their index value no i have just replaced it so 7 has been deleted next 25 okay so what is 25 where is 25 here see this is what 25 if i used to delete 25 okay if i used to delete 25 it will become empty node so that is not correct we have to maintain minimum one key therefore therefore here i used to ask the next sibling that is what here this is what my sibling okay to ask the value of 28 if at all it 
it gives a value of 25 28 then this will also become empty node so what is the solution here we need to merge two nodes here we need to what we have to do here we need to merge two nodes okay so here 25 will be deleted and okay here 25 will be deleted and we have to merge two nodes so after merging here we need to insert 28 okay and after merging we have merged 28 if at all 28 is in index node that must be removed if at all 28 is in index node that must be removed so what is the left part of 42 is 28 and right part of 42 will be 42 itself why because we have merged 25 and 28 as a single node and 28 must be there in the index node that must be removed why because we have merged and the left node 28 will become the left part of 42 okay now the p plus t condition satisfies and we need to check whether this 25 is in index node yes it is there it is what the root node so what should we do if at all it is a root node what should we have to do we have to replace it with the right part of the minimum value right subtree minimum value right subtree minimum value is what here 28 okay so here 25 must be replaced with 28 okay so this is what we have deleted 25 next 42 we need to delete 42 okay so if at all to delete 42 see if at all i, I used to delete 42 then it has become empty node so which violates the b plus t therefore we can borrow it from the sibling what is the sibling here 28 to give 28 also if at all this node gives 28 then it will become empty so what is the solution we need to match these two we need to match these two and here what we have to do after merging one single 28 node okay one single 28 node will be present one single 28 node will be present and it is see here it is what to the left of 42 it is to the left of 42 and 42 also as we are deleting 42 we have deleted from the what leaf nodes only but it is there in the index index position that is what internal nodes that also must be deleted to delete this 42 if at all i used to delete this one it will become empty then it must borrow from its sibling this is what its sibling so the key can be borrowed here okay so through the root node therefore what should we do here now this 17 will become root node 28 okay will become what to delete this 42 what we have to do we have to to delete this 42 we have to borrow this 17 through the parent root node so here 17 will become root node and to the right of 17 28 will become okay so in this way we have to delete and the elements and we should ensure that we have to maintain minimum one key per each node and the solution for that is we can borrow the first method is we can borrow the keys from its left sibling or right sibling if at all that is also not possible we have to merge the nodes and the merged node will be deleted from the index node so this is what the procedure to delete and what are the advantages and disadvantages what are the advantages and disadvantages of these nodes b plus trees sorry advantages and disadvantages of b plus trees so here the searching will be easy okay but it will take a long procedure advantages searching will be easy but it takes some time some more time and one more thing is here it is a balanced tree balanced tree it is dynamic in nature dynamic means what the name itself dynamic tree structured that means here we can use to insert or delete the records dynamically whenever we want to insert the record we can whenever we want to delete we can delete okay so that dynamic those are the advantages what are the disadvantages here so what are the disadvantages basically memory okay memory the storage space to 
to create the nodes to maintain the levels so which can be a hectic task that is what one of the disadvantages wastage of memory and here to search any element we have to start from the root node and we have to search until the leaf nodes that is what one of the drawbacks okay thank you